Hey, so it's uh, been probably a few weeks since I've put up a video, and since it's Tuesday and we just got in a whole bunch of new fish at the store, I thought I'd show you what we got. Okay, Look at the size of these clown loaches. These guys are huge. Hug him. Really? Got a nice size uh, Atlantic seahorse in here. The guy looks pretty good. And then there's a little pipe fish just kind of sitting around there. And some blubber jellies. Got a trumpet fish over here. And then next to it, we got some little baby uh, yellow Belize rays. Got uh, four of them in here. Let that guy go. Some corals, some big old Maxima clams. <laughs> a little tiny Maxima clam on the end. And then up here we got some Mandarin gobies and some Dragonet blennies. Always fun little guys. Really colorful and Got some really vibrant Pictoguppies. Unfortunately, I think they're all males. We got these nice, really tall sailfin uh, sword tails. These dorsal fins are just extremely tall. And some uh, little young red tail cats and with some knife fish. Some flower horns, always fun. Uh, upside down cats. Little pakus. Oh, over here you got a uh, flag tail prachylotus and a leaf fish. Bunch of plecos, some severums, fishers, some jewel cichlids, and a few others. A whole bunch of uh, shovel nose cats, really young ones. <laughs> a big ball of black ghost knife fish. We just released them, so I guess they're kind of panicking in the corner. Probably gonna throw something in here for them to hide in since they love going in little tunnels and such. Got a young black arowana and a New Guinea tiger datinoid. Little tiny Cynodonus petrocolos. They're so cute, so tiny. So strangely enough, these Oscars have all gone to their sides. Got the regular ones here and the albinos on their own side. I'm not sure what's up with that. And a whole bunch of peacocks, peacock cichlids. And then some silver arowanas. And this is where there were some jumbo clown loaches, giant ones, but uh, we just bagged them up and sold them. Tamensis bass and uh, Zingu peacocks. More pakus. We got a platinum giardini. Siamese tiger datinoids. Uh, Ornata pinus bikers or bikers with a Macana zebra knife. A really tiny arowana. That guy looks like he's just a little bit bigger than uh, having his yolk sack still. <laughs> and uh, some little ornate bichers. And another little flower horn. 
guys came in pretty small. Got a Lima shovel nose cat next to an albino clown knife. And speaking of albinos, got a nice albino arowana right down here too. Yeah, it's pretty beautiful. We got these Emperor Chicha bass. I think that's how it's pronounced. <laughs> and then over here in the quarry section, we got some uh, neon orange laser Aeneas quarries back there. Uh, nothing too new in the quarries. always fun. We always carry a pretty wide selection. A lot of the fish this week came in pretty small. <laughs> Especially the pygmies, they're supposed to be. What was interesting over here in the Pleco area, we got this guy, he's still coloring back up, but that's a leopard frog, Picoltia. And then next door, a true zebra Pleco. These are two of the most expensive plecos, or most popular plecos out there. Not most expensive. Well, they're still pretty expensive, as you can see. But um, yeah, these are two of the most sought after plecos that are pretty well known. And there's a black vampire pleco hiding back there. So another fish we just got in are these big old wild archers some wild cut archer fish. Pretty interesting. Alongside the uh, clouded archers we almost always have. I think the clouded archers are a little easier. These guys, uh, they already take uh, flake and pellet food for the most part from what I've seen. And one other really funky fish we got here are these Chaka Chaka cats. These things look like vacuum cleaners or something. Really weird. So right here, first we've got a uh, Arapaima gigas, gigas. And even cooler though, we have this freshwater golden tiger moray eel. This guy is just cool as hell. I've never seen anything like this, especially a freshwater eel that looks so cool. If I had the room, I would definitely be taking this guy home. Alright, now we're upstairs. And here's the angels. These guys might look familiar. These guys all came from my house. Been breeding these guys. And then further down, we've got some neons. Gold neons, regular neons, and uh, some little scarlet baddest in here with them. Then we got cardinals and um, rummy nose tetras, and a little clown killie there. Now we've got the beautiful discus. I had my eye on this guy, almost tempted to bring him home. It's been a while since I've gotten any new discus. So we've got this albino heckily cichlid. Pretty neat looking little guy. And please excuse the uh, dirty tanks. I haven't gotten a chance to clean these guys yet this week. We've got a banded uh, leporinus. leporinus. Some five bar false frontosas. A little buffalo head cichlid. Some bumblebee cats. And a Synodonis multipunctatus. Got some uh, gold rams and balloon gold rams. Then blue rams and uh, balloon blues. Some German blues. Finally, some electric blues. And a nice little archer fish. And a gold severum. 
little tiny Fajaca puffer. A double trunk Mormorid. These guys, they came to us as balloon blue convicts, but uh, they're the same thing as, I think they're calling a blue parrot fish. It's a mix of like a convict and um, like a parrot. Orange chromide. We got an electric blue Carpinti, Texas cichlid. A little emp empire gudgeon. Some American flag killies, which Always look cool, but don't really play well with others. And then some little Du Bois cichlids. And then we've got a Geophagus uh, Jurupari and a Managuense. Managuense? Not really sure how that one's pronounced. Managuense? Oh, there it is. <laughs> So we've got a Fugu Saddle Puffer hiding behind the bubbles here. Can't really get a good look at him, he refuses to come out. Just kind of hanging out in the bubbles. And then over here in one of the big tanks we've got some got big old Tiger Shovel Nose, Pleco, and some big old Butter Coffery. Look at the size of that guy. Huge. So we're up here where we have all of our uh, tanks, a stock of tanks, and here's some of the cool ones that we picked up from uh, when I was out in Vegas. Some newer kind of layouts and interesting things where you can have like a tank of fish here, but then also the open kind of skate here where you can have uh, immersed plants growing out. So he's still got this cool remora shark. It's one of those shark, little tiny sharks that's upside down and uh, latches onto the bottom of the whales and larger sharks. And then let's see, over here we've got some damsels. I was thinking about getting one of these cool ones, the black ones with the little blue, but I might just stick with my one fish in my little five gallon. And we've got some uh, little baby angels here. I believe these are the rock beauty angels. I could be wrong though. As you guys know, I'm a lot bigger in fresh water than I am in salt water. I'm still getting to know everything in salt water. We've got some uh, clownfish back there in the back. And then uh, some little pajamas, uh, car pajama cardinals up here. bunch of yellow tangs and some butterfly fish. We got all these blue tangs in, but I'm uh, not putting them in. They came in with a bad case of ick, so I'm gonna go put them in a little quarantine in the back and try and treat that. There's the killy tang and some uh, what do you call them? A uh, squirrel fish back there. Got a bicolor angel here. I love those guys. So we got this Sumatra regal angel. Beautiful. We had two of them, but somebody just bought the other one that just came in. And so we've got a Sweet Lips Clown here, next to a Powder Brown Tang. Over here we've got a Zebra Eel, coming up on a, a Horn Shark here. wrapping around him and then got a whole bunch of Haitian and enemies starfish a little cleaner shrimp some conches and some camel shrimp 
little tiny uh, yellow sea cucumbers. And some tiger cucumbers. Cicada. Yeah. Some other shrimps and stuff, some crabs, decorator crab over here. Pretty cool. Here's our whole skittle mix of different shrimp. You can see there's some, uh, still a few, I think they're red wine shrimp, some higher end. Um, the past week or so, they sent us some higher end shrimp that weren't selling well at the um, distributor, so they gave them to us for super cheap. So we just threw them in here, and now these guys are two for 10 bucks, which you won't find anywhere else close to that cheap, I don't think. <laughs> like some uh, pandas, and I might actually bring a few home. And here we actually have some mangrove plants I brought in the other day. These things have been growing like crazy in my room, so brought a couple extra in. Then got some sea apples, some little hermit crabs, some emerald crabs, just cleaning some stuff off. Finally, the goldfish. Look at these chubby, chubby little guys. Little pearl scales. And down here at the dojos, also got some young black koi. Something about solid black koi are really cool. Especially when they get bigger, they're going to look really cool. Alright, well I hope you enjoyed that and uh, I'll see you in the next one.